fellas. Here it is now springtime. And a lot of people have been posting their turtle collecting videos. And I just wanted y'all to know how the Texas snake hunter does this, all right? So I'm gonna teach you guys a step-by-step -step process on how to catch turtles. And not just any turtles, because I mean, no one wants, you know, some little P90 tiny turtle. We're talking big turtles, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this step-by-step. -step. step one, find you a good pond. Like I found right here, there's plenty of cover, nice good murky water, because turtles, they like to stay hidden. You know, they can be picked off by predators fairly easily. So they like plenty of cover. And also they eat on this aquatic vegetation out here. So find you a good pond. After that, step two, take off your boots. Because I mean, yeah, these boots are a little bit run down. They're a little bit muddy, but no one needs to mess up their boots. I mean, these are nice boots. They're seasoned, they got some history with them. You don't want to ruin them, okay? So that's step two. Now this leads us to step three. This is the easiest step, but also the most crucial. You're going to walk now through the pond, and then you're going to use your feet as your sensory perceptors. They're gonna be your feelers, if you will. So you're gonna walk, try and feel for any type of shell, because the turtles will be up in this mud right now, and your foot will actually land on their shell, and sometimes your feet can actually start walking by themselves, because that turtle's walking. So we're gonna go through and see if we can find us a big turtle. Let's see what we can do. something for a second. Oh man. Hold on, hold on. I just felt a move. Move over a little bit more. I'm like touching his feet every time. Oh, I got him now. Watch my foot, guys. See the way my foot's pulling like that, my left foot? That's not me. That's a turtle. So now we just put a little bit of pressure on him, just kind of hold him still in the mud. And then now's where you gotta get wet a little bit, okay? Oh man, this guy's a lot bigger than I thought. Hold on. Oh man, he's kicking my daggum arm out. Dude, hold on. I'm just gonna grab him and try and carry him over to you real quick. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, hold on. Woo! Man, I like to think that I wasn't gonna get this guy out of here. His weight is just massive. This fellow right here is the readier slider. Now this guy is one of the most common turtles that we have over here in the south. And they get their name from, they actually have like this little red streak going to the side of their face. And hence the name Red Ear. Is it actually their ear? No, it's just more of a stripe. I mean, turtles do have ears, but it doesn't encompass his entire ear. But these guys are highly known for their beautiful color pattern. I mean, look at that belly right there. Belly is just absolutely beautiful. Look at this pretty little green shell. And this guy is a fresh little hatchling. I mean, this dude is pretty close to being a newborn. Right now, the mama turtles are laying their eggs. They're coming out, they're coming up on land, digging big holes, and then just depositing those eggs. And then they hatch, and the sad thing is these fellas pretty much gotta watch for themselves the entire time as soon as they're born. Um, not many of them make it, but surprisingly over here in the south, they do fare pretty well. I mean, you can commonly find these guys crossing roads. And they get their name, of course, the red ear comes from the red ear, and then slider comes from whenever you see them up on logs, they commonly will slide off whenever you go near them, hence the name slider. This guy used to be pretty dang popular in the pet trade, but they actually outlawed them. If it's less than, I'm pretty sure it's like four inches, then you can't sell them in a pet store anymore. And that's mainly due to the big salmonella scare. They think that uh, these guys are killing small kids or harming small children because they say that they carry salmonella. And whenever they say they carry salmonella, 
it's not like all turtles carry salmonella and it's not like every single red ear does these guys do have a chance to carry salmonella but it's more of just if their environment is dirty then they'll get that salmonella but very few of these guys actually do carry it and there's a ton of other animals that do carry it but yet there's not a big scare about them so i don't really understand that absolutely gorgeous turtle though and like i said this guy's such a baby i wish y'all could see an adult one because the adult ones actually can get pretty damn big i mean i've seen huge huge females get like this big around and boy they can go fast too a lot of people say that oh man turtles can't run these guys can haul butt. I mean, they'll just, they'll get after it. And it's real funny during breeding season, because the males, you can always tell them, because they grow these real long fingernails right at their front legs. And whenever they go to a court with the ladies or try and impress the ladies, they take these fingernails and they put them over their face and they go, did -did 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 -did, and they make this little noise with their fingernails, kind of like chopping them together, did -did 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 -did, like that. And the ladies are like, hmm, I like that. So a male with the big, huge fingernails, they find that mighty attractive. But a male with little tiny fingernails, he doesn't get too many ladies. Obviously, this guy's probably going to grow up to have some big fingernails because that woman, she liked to breed and she had this little guy. So he's probably going to have him some big, nice fingernails if it is a male. You probably can't tell until he gets a little bit older. You can probably see this stuff that he's in right here, real thick moss. They do um, feed on this stuff out here and they also feed on dead fish. A lot of fishermen don't like them because they'll eat their fish, so they claim. They really feed more on dead fish, though. They really, I mean, they don't chase down live fish that much. Um, they're more of opportunistic fish feeders. But uh, we're gonna let this fella go on his way, and uh, I praise the Lord for him. I hope that he does great out here. And uh, God, awesome catch, awesome catch. Nearly strained my arm, though, trying to get him out. You know, these guys can get pretty heavy. So we're gonna let him go on his way. See you later, buddy, love you. Guys, just a little uh, behind the scenes footage. For a lot of this stuff, we need this red ear to come out of his shell, and as you can see, he's a little bit shy. And uh, I just, I learned this trick when I was a kid, and I just wanted to share it with y'all just because I thought it was pretty funny, but it works on practically every single turtle. Watch, you're gonna call me a liar and it's not gonna work on him, but we'll still see. If you got a turtle and he's a little bit shy, he doesn't want to come after out of his shell, then um, I just found this trick out. You put him on the ground, like so, and while he's sitting on the ground, you kind of want it to be a level ground. You put your finger behind his shell, and you just drive them around like a car. Now the car noises are optional, but I just like to do them. Up, oh, we hit this roadblock. All right, we gotta switch to a bike. Come on, buddy. Look at there. We got feet coming out. We got a head coming out. Are you gonna come out yet? Let's see. Running. Oh, look at there. We have life. I told you it will eventually work. Now this is a rare case. It normally happens much quicker than this. The only reason that it happened this slow is because we're on uneven terrain. But I promise you it's a foolproof method. And now the cool thing is we're gonna have trouble even getting them to go in a shell now. Because once you do this to a turtle, I don't know why but it makes it to where they just are really comfortable with you. They're no longer scared. They don't really go in their shell much anymore. I mean, they pretty much stay out of their shell and they'll run around with you. Um, so it's a cool thing that I found out. I've been using it ever since I was a kid and uh, still use it today, just film turtles. So say goodbye to the cutie.